Hello and welcome to episode two of the How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More podcast. I'm Andy Tattersall and I'm an information specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. So in this very short series of podcasts, I want you to help deal with the issue of digital distraction, information overload, and also help you get a little bit more done and be a bit more productive. So we're going to look at one of the biggest problems, arguably the biggest problem digital distraction can bring us, and that is one that's got a lot worse for many of us over the years, and that is email. So our reliance on email is quite problematic, and the more emails you reply to, the more come back. So it creates this vicious cycle. And even though there's very little you can do to prevent some emails coming in your inbox, though you can filter out the non-essential ones before they arrive. And you can easily cut down on digital digital distraction by unsubscribing to non-essential email lists. It just requires you to build up that habit. It's just very easy, of course, to delete non-essential emails, but that's just putting a kind of a sticking plaster over the problem and it would it's much better if you actually get into the habit of unsubscribing from the source and it doesn't take too long to unsubscribe to various email lists etc and it's surprising how many lists you'll find yourself on after a while you can also set up your um, email to uh, put instructions in for the email client to filter out some messages so rather than manually delete them Email clients like Google Mail has really good options on how to manage your emails that allow you to archive, delete them, forward them on to another address. There's loads of tutorials on the web that can help you make better use of your email. If you do searches on how to um, filter out emails or carry out instructions, then you can do that. The important thing is is not to automate too much as you might end up in missing out on some important emails as they accidentally get sent to an archive or even worse, the trash. Uh, many of you listening to this podcast will be aware of the idea of Inbox Zero. And for many of you, this really will seem like a pipe dream. But However, there's a more manageable system of attending to um, your emails and that is called Yesterbox, um, as in yesterday. And... This works on the premise that you answer all of your outstanding emails from the day before as if uh, as if it was the first task of the following morning. So what happens is, is Monday morning you open up your email inbox first thing and you work through all of the emails that are outstanding. And when the last one is finished, you shut down your email and you don't open it again for the rest of the day. It takes willpower, but like I say with this series, it requires willpower. Tuesday morning, you open up your inbox and you respond to all of Monday's emails. And many of these will be replies to the emails that you sent out on Monday uh, and fresh emails. You get through all of those, you shut down your inbox and so on and so forth. It doesn't work for everybody. There's certain people who can't do this for... Uh, They may be particularly needed. It may be a project deadline or a particular sensitive time Um, for them to be working and they just need to be keeping an eye on email but there's certain times when you could actually apply apply that model and it would work very very well again it depends on how many emails you receive on a daily basis if you only get 10 emails a day and that's probably manageable but if you're getting 50 100 150 you might start thinking you need a system to deal with that so if you get better at using filters and unsubscribing and this is basic common sense that I'm saying to you, but it just sometimes takes a person to actually tell you to go and do this. Um, If you unsubscribe to all those emails that you no longer read, those organizations and companies that you're no longer interested in, just click the unsubscribe. It will start to kind of uh, reduce the number of emails you're going to get coming through. And that gives you more time to focus on writing and um, doing your research. So hopefully that's useful. Um, My name is Andy Tatterson. You can find more about me and the podcast via the web links and the image attached to this podcast. So good luck with your writing.